What's good YouTube? It's your boy Torrance and I'm back this week with another video. First things first, I want to give a shout out to all my subscribers because we know film ain't never going to die. But this week's video is going to be about my mono light setup in the studio. We're going to talk about a few things. We're going to talk about some myths such as lighting myths. We're going to talk about some essential things going to help you in the studio. And we're also going to talk about just some things that will overall make your life a lot easier in the studio. Enjoy. All right, so um, my bread and butter with a mono light setup is this right here, what I pretty much call a 45 degree rule. We're about 45 degree over the model's head. We're almost like at a 45 degree angle. I'll probably be standing about right here when I'm shooting, and that way we get that angle like much like the sun. You'll never see the sun shoot somebody straight on 90 degrees. You can see it from above when it's at noon, but never straight on or under, unless you're going for a different type of lighting. So one of the myths about lighting is this, is that a lot of people think you gotta use every light. We got so many lights in the studio and I don't have them on. I'm using this one light here because this is, this is the dramatic look I wanna go for. Now if I wanna go for a different look, I'll use different lights. So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little snippet about my bread and butter. That butter, you say butter, not butter, butter, butter. The bread and butter on my, you know, my film photography lighting setup. A lot of the reasons why I use this setup is because for one, it's easy. Um, two, it's just part of my style. I really like a mono light style. Some people say it's difficult, but to me it's pretty easy. And once you master that, you're gonna be able to add other lights into your setup pretty easily. But another thing I wanted to bring up is that I can't show you guys the images from this shoot. I'm currently working on an art show right now and I don't want to release the images. So I did a YouTube video with this shoot, but you're just not going to see the images, not into the show. So I appreciate y'all being patient. Okay guys, so I kind of wanted to just give you guys a little bit of insight about what I've been going through as a photographer hopefully I can encourage y'all as well so you know as of late I've been having second thoughts about you know photography and you know doing it as my dream and where I'm at in life and things like that and I actually got some words of encouragement from such an unexpected source uh, I was at a concert last week and one of the artists that was on stage at the end of his show he said you know I don't know who needs to hear this but Whoever out here, you know, don't give up, follow your dreams. And I'm here to say that to y'all. Like, I know that this photography stuff may be hard and that sometimes it's just discouraging. Like, it's just downright discouraging. Like, you don't get the certain amount of likes that you want on Instagram or your Facebook, or you don't get published in that magazine, or you don't get accepted to that show. It may seem like a lot of doors are closing, but Usually when that happens, that means there's a certain door for you to go through. So much like the artist told me, you know, keep your head up, man. Believe in yourself. Follow your dreams. And honestly, the way I've learned that the universe works, if you tell yourself that this is something that you want to do and you put everything in order, which means, you know, you get the right equipment, you, you take the time to practice it, you find your style, you make this your own, um, it will happen for you. So that's just how the universe works. It will give it to you. I promise you that. If you work towards it, it will come to fruition. So guys, just, I appreciate you guys watching these videos, but just keep encouraging me as I encourage you. So follow your dreams, believe in yourself, don't ever stop. Man, film ain't never die and your dreams ain't gonna die either. So like I always say, man, get you a film camera and shoot.